This video is brought to you by the Radiance Academy. I am pleased to announce I am now offering a brow shaping online course. This course includes a principal liability waiver, and I will be going over client intake, contraindications, and a detailed brow mapping consultation. You will be able to download a full service protocol and supplies list so that you can follow along to an even more detailed video tutorial with voiceover. This course is open for all to take and a certificate of completion is available to licensed enrollees. To enroll or for more information, click the link below. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and continue watching. Hey beauties, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. This is going to be a step-by-step -step brow shaping tutorial with soft wax and how to give your clients a beautiful result. Please check out the links below so you can see which products and supplies I'll be using in this video. So the first and a very important step is to do a consultation with your client, especially if they are our first time brow client. Give your client a mirror so that they can follow along with you while you show them what you plan to do to their eyebrows. For more details on this mapping and consultation, check out my online course. You'll be using your brow pencil to simply mark where you plan to take off hair or leave hair and give them the desired shape that they want. After the consultation piece, I use the Satin Smooth Satin Cleanser to prepare the skin for the wax. This helps to remove any excess oil and gets rid of any bacteria present on the skin. Next, apply some pre-epilation dusting powder to absorb any further oils or moisture on the skin. For this service, I'll be using the Tweezer Man tweezers to help clean up the hairs after the waxing service and some stork trimming scissors. This is what I found works the best for me. And now you'll be taking a disposable mascara wand and your trimming scissors to help trim the hairs to your desired length for your client. To help guide me better with the waxing process, I use a brow pencil. Pictured here is a highlighting pencil, but feel free to use a brow whiz or something that just helps to mark the skin so that you can have reference to where you'll be removing hair and where the arch will be. All of those lines will help just to give you a little bit more precision when it comes to evening out your client's brows. Now we are ready to wax. So you're gonna to wanna to have your waxing sticks and your pre-cut epilation strips ready to go for this service. I like to use the Gigi Cream Wax and I've used a lot of other waxes and this one has always been my go-to and works the best for me. Now make sure you're performing a wax test on the inside of your wrist. If it's too sticky or it's not pulling well, it's not hot enough. And if it's taking off skin or it's burning you, <laughs> that means it's too hot, so cool it off. 
Now carefully apply a thin layer of wax to the area in which you wish to remove hair. And using a new epilation strip, firmly place the strip onto the wax. Hold the skin taut and pull away against the hair growth. Repeat the application and removal process throughout the waxing service, starting from the middle to the top and underneath the brows. After you wax, there may be some remaining hairs. Use your tweezers to remove excess hairs until the desired shape is reached. Now use a wax remover solution or a post waxing oil to remove any residual wax and hairs from the skin. Now give your client a mirror to reveal the final results of the service. Talk to her, make sure she's happy or he, and adjust anything if it's needed. And you wanna make sure you're taking after photos and booking them for their next appointment. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys back here on Monday next week for a new video. Until then, love you, stay safe, and I'll see you then.